Hey guys welcome back to my channel this is fine very if you're new here welcome and returning subscribers you know what's up so we're continuing our we're going to continue our in short tutorial series and we're going to be doing our thumbnails with in short alone well in short and some other apps so we're going to be using fonto x in short x picks art but in short is doing most of the work in fact in short should be best supporting actress or act of the year because in short is very very good for editing like we said in short is very powerful we just are learning how to use it right now so with the fonto app i'm just going to be picking the font that i want to use and i'm going to be creating um a thumbnail first youtube video that's that's what i'm going to be um writing and this is just a template so i went into fonto and i'm looking for the best font to use remember that this is just a tutorial so you can do so much better with your thumbnails this is just a guide and you know what in short just be lit in short video editor is lit like it's good for um editing and people don't understand how powerful it is it's very very powerful and easy to use especially for a beginner you know that is just starting youtube very easy till today i still use it to cut all my videos because it's like so easy i'm so used to it we're still in fonto trying different you know fonts remember that it's never the you know it's never so perfect you have to keep you know writing as your heart pleases right now it's picked impact label and then i'm trying to write the video with it so i want to change the color of the background i don't want it to be red i want to change it to another color and i'm just trying every other color that i can use on the fonto app And now we're going to pick art. Um, we're going to pick the background that we're going to be using. I want to be using a light background, a light blue background. That makes sense because I really fall in love with this color. And I'm going to add photo. Then I'm going to pick the sticker that we cut in the eraser app. And I'm going to click background or border. And then I'm going to add the border so it will show me different colors. And I want to use the yellow. Now the disadvantage of pix art, and that's what InShot is going to fix for us, is once you apply these settings, especially on your sticker, the resolution will reduce, the picture will begin to appear blurry, and pix sorry, InShot is really going to fix that for us. In case you noticed right there, it was actually blurry. So we're now going to go um let me do this again one more time so that you notice. Once we add it, we're going to go to border, we're going to pick yellow it's looking quite clear now but once we apply it it reduces quality it becomes you know blurry so once you do that this is how InShot is going to fix it for us we're going to go and pick sticker pick the exact same sticker that we used and place it on top making sure that it doesn't cover the yellow outline and there it is that problem is fixed period <music> right now we're going to go to the background eraser app and we're going to erase the background of you know literally everything that we did we're going to erase the background of the first youtube the video we're going to erase the background background eraser is really easy guys you should try that app out now that we've done that work we're going to go back to in shot and then put the writing in as a sticker easy peasy easy as pie so now i'm going to use one of the fonts in in shot i realized i have to use it if i'm going to do a tutorial with it so there it is like i said this is just a template please get creative <laughs> right now i'm just trying to add some background noise so that the it doesn't look so plain normally i wouldn't do my um 
thumbnail like this i'm still trying to improve on my thumbnail quality because i'm still learning but let me know what you think i should do about my thumbnails and i want to add like a phone icon there you should check my other tutorials to see how to add phone icons add it as a sticker download it as a png image add it as a sticker and i'm going to add another image inside the phone image Like I said, I'm going to be adding another image inside, you know, the phone frame. We have literally come to the end of this video. I hope you really liked this tutorial. This is just a template. Like I said, you can get creative and please tell me any other tutorial you would want to see from me. I love you all so much. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really really appreciate and if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below thank you very much for watching our in short advanced tutorial tips we love you Should